defenders on Ruin Who, and two of my very dear and near to my heart buddies, me, Storm, and Tommy. Hi. Hi. So you guys are the party promoters with the mostest, and um, we're having a party next week. Is this right? A week from tonight. Yeah. Yes. So do you want to tell what it's about? Because I know it's a burlesque thing, but like there's a lot going on on this party. And um, you guys always have things intertwined in the idea of what's going on. We, so, always, we always want to incorporate our performance art, music, along with the burlesque. Of course, burlesque tends to be the, you know, the, the, the main element of the show, but we want all the other elements to be, to be you know, treated just as equal. Okay. So is it a classic kind of burlesque, like the 1920s thing? Or? It could be. It could be. It's really left up to the artist and whatever you know, whatever they want to do, it's their art, and we leave it up to them. There are no guidelines. And, um, and how many? Yeah. How many burlesque artists will be there that night? In this coming up show, yeah. I guess for the left, like dance burlesque dancers, I guess five or six, and then we have uh, three or four singers. They have a couple of. Performance artist actually brought the flyer. I love this flyer. I have one that we can post as well. And then we have a, and, and then we have a, and then we have a, a great host for the show, fabulous host. I hope I do you justice. I'm sure friend. you would. Uh, 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 so, yeah. so band antenna is our is our house band for the evening. They're going to be playing. It's a great band. We have um, uh, two of the performers are here today. I think they're going to come up in right. a few minutes. With yes. Evelyn Vinyl and um, Lady Zombie. And they we have also great have, names. I mean, yeah, right. Lady Zombie. They all sound awesome. like they could be roller derby girls, too. Well, like, they are. Uh, are they really? <laughs> they are. If you want them to be. We have Velocity Child. They have the best name. Yeah. You know Dee Dee Lux. I she, love Dee Dee Lux. Dee great. I want to be Dee Dee Lux when I grow up. <laughs> we all do. I know. And Dee Dee and Clamity are in the in the current movie Shane. It's a Steve McQueen film. They have a really hot ending uh, three way twist tryst at the end of the, in the movie. And, and and she yeah. And I, we also have Abadora, who's out of Boston, who sings live. And Jerry Disco, who's just a nut. And who else? Like, oh, and Finn Appeal, who's legendary here in here. In, and, and Clamity, yeah, it's going to be great. Now, 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 you guys, do you hang out with these guys a lot, just in regular life, or or do you look forward to like putting them on the show? A little of both. Uh, we, we, you know, we're good friends with some Is others. It frozen again. So why didn't you say anything? Because we're good. Uh, all right, all right, we're gonna just go with it. All right. All right. Ah, live is funny. You're hot. <laughs> it's, uh, do you want to take this off? Like She's got a long you have something after this for the Just this little shirt. <laughs> so, um, well, it is, you know, February spring break. Exactly. Maybe you can do a little burlesque number with it. Uh, <laughs> Maybe you can. <laughs> no, it's all so right. <laughs> I'm out of step. And it's 65 today, it's too. It seems like it's a peach weather. Yeah, it really is. You think? So what do you think about the weather? What do you think about the weather? Is it scaring you? Like, do you think it's global warming, or do you think it's just okay? I know. I think it's what it is. I like it. Deal with it. Live with it. Well, we are living with it. It's fine by me. I have no problem with New York. I prefer it to be, like, closer to freezing. Oh, you like cold weather? I like cold weather. Cold weather's better. Cold weather. Especially in February. Really? You, you can like cover it? yourself. Like you can't, you can only get right. so naked before you're still hot. You know, you can still cover yourself. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I feel. I still feel there's a little chill in the air. Like, you can feel it. It doesn't feel only, like spring Only because it weather. looks a little gloomy outside, I think. You know, it has that, that look of February. So what's the weather going to be like for this night, you think? You think it's going to snow? I know. On the floor, only. Oh. <laughs> on the floor it's going to snow? I could interpret that a couple of different ways. Well, knowing you guys, I can interpret it as well. So, um, what are you guys going to wear that night? I know you guys always come up with like amazing costumes. You know, we don't know yet. We, we, and we I still, don't believe and it. We still, Doesn't your mother make costumes for you, Tommy? She, she did last time for us. Yeah, I know. <laughs> she had no idea what it was for. I mean, she likes to sew. Yeah. And we're like, you know, we, we bought a couple of different fabrics. And we're like, here, put something together for us. She actually came up with something Doris. pretty edgy. Doris, yeah. Hi, Doris. Yeah, she's, really sweet. Hi, Doris. <laughs> she's probably not watching. Oh, well, then that's good. Yeah, so then, what? Because this is Wednesday night. 
uh, she's a Baptist. So yeah, she's would a church. church. She's a church. She'd be a they church. They play bingo on Wednesday nights or no, something? What do they that's do? Not Christian. Oh, really? Yeah, you don't, you don't play bingo at a Baptist church. What do I know? <laughs> I, I, I'm like. You're real. Oh, really? No, Baptist, I don't know. I always think of church and bingo. Uh, <laughs> not in a Baptist church. Bingo would be considered no, sinful. Like dancing or music. Dan uh, dancing, swimming together, guys and girls swimming together. It's a, you know. Uh, Are they like Amish? Amish. 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 Not really. Amish. Not really. Baptist? I never knew that they were they're so sort of, they're sort of Are they like, like Orthodox? Orthodox what? Like boys and girls are separate? They're extremists. They're extremists. Baptists are extremists. They're, 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 they're sort of the religion matter. 101. I'm really not. I grew up in it. I grew up in it. I grew up in Belief, Florida. That's what I'm a New Yorker, you know. Like I believe you that. Know. You see, that's the problem. I always say this. Like people who come to New York or don't know New York, they always say, "Oh, it's dangerous. It's so dangerous. Be careful." The only danger I think about New York Tourists. is that we think that <laughs> no, we think that the whole world is like here. So we think that everybody's accepting and everybody is fine and nobody gives see, a shit about anybody except themselves. And then you go somewhere else and it's not like that. Yeah, see, I didn't grow up here. I grew up in Atlanta. Talk about danger. Though, though, I, you know, I, I, I grew up in, you know, Midtown Atlanta. I never had any. You know, I've never experienced that, but coming to New York, you know, this is nothing compared to This is the to safest town in the world. It really is now. Yeah. 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 Except, did you see the papers the other day? They said the that rudest. we're the rudest, and I love I that because that. I'm a rude one. But, but, I love <laughs> that. It's the yeah. rudest yeah. town in the world. I think we're the, New York's most, one of the most jaded cities. Rude, rudeness is however you perceive it. You I know, think we're the nicest We're individualistic. People. We don't give a fuck about that. We're self Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, fuck yeah. everybody yeah. else. We don't have time yeah. to do stupid chit chat. Just we like, don't you know, think about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Find, yeah. find your own route. So when did you move here, Tommy? I moved here about seven years ago. And what brought you here? Money. Uh, I, I had a business in Atlanta, and I decided, I had a great year prior to moving here, and I decided to visit. I always wanted to come to New York, but I thought it would be a good time to do it. So I did. I moved here in one week. Came up, found an apartment for the day, went back, then moved the next weekend. That's, that's what it You was. found an apartment in one day? I did. Yeah. I took the first person. I took the first apartment I saw, though. Because to me, looking for an apartment is like looking at a car, or a used car, and I hate it. And I actually drug my drug my mom up here with me that day. I thought he said I drugged my mom <laughs> <laughs> with coffee. Because <laughs> I, I I knew nothing about the, the rental market here. I, I knew heard, nothing about the market. I always, I always heard nightmares about it and how hard it was getting apartments. And I didn't have a job so when I came up here. You are from Georgia. I am from Georgia. <laughs> I know nothing about getting an apartment. <laughs> <laughs> and today's Clark Gable's birthday. And and, uh, I, and, I, and I'm also mourning Don Cornelius. To me, it's just yeah. a big impact on my life. You know, growing up as a Soul little Train, white baby. kid in South Georgia, yeah. and, you know, I watched Soul Train every Saturday with my maid. Oh, she, she, she taught me. She taught me how to be. I just myself, watched it because it was on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, love so. Peace, love, and Soul. 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 We love you, Don Cornelius. We'll do a Soul Train line in your honor. Yeah. So anyway, that's how I got here. That's how I ended up here. Nice, nice, nice. But I'm still a southerner. And you. Where were you born? Long Island? Do you guys like the Allman Brothers? I love the New Orleans. Right. Yeah. Allman Brothers? When did you move to the city? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I never really lived at home. I sort of lived wherever I lived, you know. I was just that kind of child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a mystery wrapped in an enigma. <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. A hot child in the city. That's, That's you? I really went home. <laughs> oh my God. And Daddy, Daddy was an abusive bastard. He was also a preacher man. Oh, I'm not Jehovah's, a preacher man. Jehovah's Witness. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, my son. 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 My um, but no, no holiday, no Christmas, no Halloween, no. So you know, Wait, did you have to go to the Kingdom Hall or yeah. like any of that crazy shit? Well, yeah, he was. He besides being a Jehovah's Witness respected minister in the congregation, he had his flock and he dressed up in a suit and, you know, uh, I was not the son he was supposed to have. Mm. I was rebellious. 
the prodigal, Good for you, prodigal you son. Good yeah. for you. Yeah. yeah. I was I was not not a good kid. You but you're a good kid now. He's not a good role model you know, for Jehovah's Witnesses. And they all hated me. They told me that I was, that I was a demon, <laughs> that I was possessed by the devil. And that Did they ever try to exercise you? Yeah, they burned, <laughs> they, and they burned a lot of my shit. You know, <laughs> they went in my room, and they took whole posters. Your Farrah Fawcett. Yeah, posters my down. fucking Farrah Fawcett. And you know, I feel for Farrah Fawcett. She took all my stuff. You know, she had to die the same day as Michael Jackson. Like, she, she, you know, God bless them both. They're with Don Cornelius now. But, like, I feel like Farrah, they burned her poster. Like, she always got the bad end of the deal. Like, what the Especially the day she died, I guess. You know? I mean, I just feel it's kind of like she was so important to our society. Like, they're still she's, making Charlie's Angels. She's, yeah, she's a goddess, goddess. A legend goddess. I agree. Everyone wanted their hair like Farrah Fawcett. Well, so now how did she get the I know that poster, the that one in the bathing suit. That <laughs> she had a rough, <laughs> excellent <laughs> life. Like, you know, like, yeah, right. top of everything. I had David Cass looking at my wall. She's watching me get dressed in my room. Look, Farrah's looking at me coming out of me. I'm getting dressed. <laughs> this was this your mind. You didn't lose your mind when you were a child. What poster did you have? Look at Farrah. She's watching me. What poster do you have on your wall now? Um, no <laughs> Actually, oh well, that's not that's not on the wall. Oh, okay. <laughs> Actually, the walls are covered with merchandise and, and art, and merchandise and art product. That's Toys. cool. That's cool. So um, we have some of the burlesque girls that that are on the show. So we're going to take a little break and bring them up cool. to talk Excellent. about stuff too. Okay. So we'll be right back for um, February eighth. Evelyn Vinyl Lady Zombie. Yeah, we'll be back. Ruin him. Yeah. Do you have any posters on your wall? 